But do you think that we'll win this week? We got the Chiefs coming to town, Noose. If I had to bet money on this week's game, bet money, I'm betting money on the Chiefs winning. I bet you the Raiders will win. I bet you not. I bet you they will. What do you want to bet? Something. All right. They'll be disclosed. Everyone's going to give me for this, but come on now. It's not Christmas. Hey, Noose. These are the games. We've been talking a lot of sh Noose. These are the games that we win. The ones that we're supposed to lose, Noose. Plus, if I go to the game and go in the win club, Noose, we winning, Noose. Welcome back to another episode of the Ninth Island with your O's, Simone Raider, and my co-host, Mr. Fitz. Y'all know what it is, Raiders. We are finally back in the studios, and it's been the same damn story for the last three <laughs> weeks, Who's uh, Losers. Man, we, we, we've been losing a lot. And it's not the fact that we've been losing us. It's the way we've been losing. Yeah, I know. It's been, it's been really tough. Obviously, recently, we lost to the LA Rams in SoFi Stadium. The curse uh, still continues, Zeus. I know. I was almost gonna go, but thank God I didn't. I told you I wasn't. I wasn't gonna go. <laughs> well, I even when you were kind of talking about it, even if we got like free tickets or whatnot, I was like, nah, I don't. So I'm done with so far. They offered me free tickets too. I'm I'm but sure I, they I, did. They were they hit me up on Instagram. They're like, you're in L. A. And I was like, yeah, I'm in L. A. For a wedding. Yeah. Like so you want the game? I was like, nah. I don't got tickets, and I don't know if I want to go. Yeah. So they said, hey, you want? I, I got you on a ticket. I was like, no, I'm good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I don't like, blame you. Know, you. I want to go home and watch it at home. I mean, I, I'd rather be disappointed at home. Was, and I told you, I, I went to Cali like last minute. It was a turnaround yeah. trip on Saturday. And I was just sitting there thinking, I'm like, dang, it's funny I'm here. The Raiders are playing here. I mean, I could go to the game if I wanted to, like really, really wanted yeah. to. But then I forgot I had church the next day. And then plus, I was like, I, I don't want to deal with SoFi no more. I, I don't even know. Like, I think the only way I will go to SoFi again is obviously if we if we have like a home opener there. Like the first time going there, like one time going to SoFi and losing there, like that that's enough for me. I can't go there. I think I'll go once a year, that's it. That's what I'm saying. Like I can't go twice in one year. Yeah. You did that that one year. Remember when we lost to Baker Mayfield and we you lost You didn't go though. I didn't. Yeah. But I'm saying like that I was a tough one. I don't know how if I could deal with that mentally. Was two I times was it, I was going up the escalators throwing popcorn on Rams fans. Man, that's it's all bad. We should throw something else. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing for me is, I like it. it kind of sucks because I feel like LA that that whole day is just set up for failure. <laughs> yeah, <it laughs> because is. you think about it, it was Raider Nation. Of course, we show out more than we ever the have. Parties, the golf tournaments, more than we ever have over here in uh, Las Vegas. But the tailgates, just the tailgates alone, going over there, celebrating with the Raider fans, and just having a good time, and we're all getting our hopes up. Even though the Raiders have let us down the two weeks prior. We would think that we'd go into L.A. and win. Yeah. But then we go and show this type of showing. You know, we lose to the Rams 20-15. to 15. Another tough, tough loss. Was, how, how did you feel about this game? Uh, I was irritated. Shit, it's tough being a Raider fan, man. I don't know what to say. I don't know whose fault it is anymore. I, I just don't know. You don't? Liz? I don't want to know. I like I, that song. I don't want to know. <laughs> Uh, Bro, just fucking win, man. It's a lot of things that go into it, Us, and it, it, it's kind of crazy because it starts up top. Us. I mean, I, I'm not even gonna go as high as Mark Davis, but I, I think for me, it starts with the coaching. Us, coaching, the play calling. It's the same thing. Us, it's the offense. The offense have been the biggest problem. Our quarterbacks have been the biggest problem. AP is getting out coached out there. He doesn't know how to manage game well. He doesn't even know how to call games well. Then you got Luke Getze, who's been a horrible offensive coordinator. He was horrible at Chicago. Why the fuck is he here? And then you then you got an, a, a quarterback. Shit, Aiden O'Connell couldn't even stay in there. He got hurt. He got his thumb hurt. And then we had to see Gardner Minshew yet again. And it was just a whole shit show. And, and looking at that whole thing, I, I didn't really think about this before, but when Gardner was talking after the game and said that, you know, he's never played like this his whole career, like, He's like a turnover machine right now. He's been throwing picks every single game. He had three picks in this game. Was, but this is the worst that he's ever looked in his career. Yeah. And that's true. You, and I kind of look at the offensive line. I look at the play calling as two of the biggest things why he's playing the way he's playing. Like last year with the Colts, he was, he was a pro bowler. He was doing good. And he he was solid. He was not 
creating turnovers at all. But this year, it just seems like whenever he throws the ball, who's going to pick it off and whatnot. And there was a lot of costly mistakes in this game. It was really, really tough. But damn, man, seeing the way he played, it just like watching the game and after, it was like, I have no hope in this team. It was, I know we had a lot of hope in the beginning of the year, but I, I don't know. Like, it went bye-bye. Yeah, no, for us, though. So the quarterback situation have been really, really hard, really tough to watch, was, especially with these two quarterbacks. Cause we're, it's hard to watch the games, period, right now. No, no, for real. I guess it's just frustrating, especially when we know we have a defense that keeps us in games. They're not perfect, but, but we, were in the, games, we, yeah. we were in this game, majority of this game, but yet – we just came up short, Deuce. This episode is brought to you by Our Burgers, located off of Eastern and Warm Springs at 7215 Southeastern Avenue. If you're looking for a SoCal type of food spot, this is the place to be. I'm telling you, from their burgers to their zucchini sticks to the chili cheese, pastrami fries, all around, top of the line food. I love it. I've been there at least seven times since finding out about it in the last two weeks. It is the place to be. And don't forget about happy hour. Go tap in. Tell them the Uso sent you. How do you feel about AP and his coaching in this game, though? Uh, I mean, there was one thing that pissed me off. Uh, when uh, well, I think it was third quarter when Minshew threw another interception and the camera showed AP and he was just smiling. I was like, what the fuck are you smiling for? <laughs> <laughs> you know, what the fuck? Throw in Jacoby Myers' as quarterback. Throw in somebody, anybody. Well, Jacoby was out. Who's for the game? Yeah, I know, but he's right, not running. He could just throw the ball. Fuck it. Who? Jacoby. He was out. Everybody's better than he could. He couldn't even play in this game. Well, was, you know what I mean? I was like, yeah. do something right Our now. emergency quarterback, if anything was to happen to Garner Minshew, Tyreek McAllister would have been our quarterback. Was, and at that point, it's like, damn, it was, yeah, just, it's yeah, all bad. <laughs> <laughs> you and bending over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. One thing that I, I really criticize uh, AP for in this game, of course, want to make this clear. I love AP. I feel like he's a solid – you know, well, I don't think he's a solid coach, but I feel like he's a guy that can motivate, you know, the locker room. But as far as calling the game and making costly decisions, I felt like he made one in this game when we were down eight. Was, we were in the red zone and fourth and four. He decides to kick the field goal and, you know, put the defense out there and get the ball back. And he made the right decision in that point because the offense had one more chance to drive down the field and maybe win the game. Obviously, we know that Gardner Minshew – through an interception. Through an interception. But you watch that play, the offensive line broke, and really he had nothing. I mean, it's his fault too. So everybody's at fault at this point. But if you think about that drive that we were driving down the field before we kicked that field goal, we were starting to build momentum, Moose, and I talked about this in my video. Uh, Garner Mitchell was finding Brock Bowers every single down. He even ran for a first down. Yeah. And even though it was fourth and four, I felt like with that momentum, I felt like we should have went for it and got the first down and then – possibly scored, you know, but I feel like he kind of killed that momentum by just putting Daniel Carlson, you know, the player of the game out there since yeah. that's all we got was Daniel Carlson kicking field goals. Dude. So I, I feel like just his game management has been horrible throughout the season. And one question I want to ask you, because I know a lot of fans are kind of going 50, 50 on this. Were we better with Josh McDaniels? <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's funny you bring that up because I seen some shit yeah. when they were showing side by side, and it shows that we were better with Josh McDaniels Man. as of right now. But honestly, fuck McDaniels. AP is has no coaching. I mean, head coaching experience. I mean, we would expect that from somebody like AP, but we're not expecting that from somebody like Josh McDaniels that. Play with the fucking Patriots, or not play, but you know what I mean. Oh. Like it's two different scenarios. Fuck, that's that's. I mean, that's true. But AP the was, players are happier. That's all I care about. I don't know if they're happy right now. It's because yeah. I mean, we had one guy leave us to go to New York because he wasn't happy. He, was, he went over there and lost <laughs> to the Steelers again. Yeah, but we'll talk about him in a little bit. But I mean, I feel like AP slowly losing the locker room, and he's still trying to keep it together right now, and. I'm. I'm. St it's kind of hard. Right, what do you think? Is it time? Because I know AP's on the hot seat with a lot of Raider oh, yeah, Nation. He is right now. So what do you? What do you think is the move going forward? Do you think it's time to make that decision, or maybe after the season, if we don't go to the playoffs, would you make that? decision? Oh, we're not going to the playoffs. I know that. If we don't go to playoffs, or when we don't go to the playoffs, is 
and we still look like the same team that we've been looking. We look for the like way. we're back in Oakland right now. Oh shit. <laughs> Hey, whatever am he I, says. Am I lying? Hey, whatever he says is, does that have nothing to do with me. Are, am I lying though? Yeah, you're not lying. It looks like it's 2013 in this bitch. It's, it's bad. It, was, it, it looks really, really bad. But but what I'm saying is, with how we've been looking these past couple of weeks, after every loss, we've been looking horrible. It was getting yeah. blown out. It was, yeah. Backs blown and all that. Exactly. It was no ditty. But the way we've been looking, if we continue to look like that for the rest of the season, it was. Would you would you be okay with firing AP or what would you do? I think we dropped the bag with fucking Harbro. Why? I think we should. You know, I love AP. I love the hype. You know, what I mean, I love the players backing him up. But look what he's doing over at the fucking Chargers. I mean, they just lost though. But I mean, yeah. I mean, you can't win them all. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> but see, you but, were saying that in, in the offseason. You said AP. You said, <laughs> said hire AP. Um, I mean, I did too. I, I did too. I was okay with either decision, but I was okay with either or. But hindsight twenty twenty, it just doesn't look good right now. Yeah, man, what the fuck, Raiders? Maybe, maybe, just maybe, AP's just maybe he was smiling because he knew that we were one step closer to that number one pick, who's so maybe it's part of the plan, who's. But but with that said, though, you know, I know hindsight is twenty twenty, and I know that the Chargers do look a little bit better than the Raiders right now, or a lot better than the Raiders. But getting back, I know we kind of got backtracked from the question, but. Getting back to the Josh McDaniels talk a little bit, I don't think a lot of people want to hear it, but I, I don't think we're – Josh McDaniels was as bad as this right now. Yes, we I think that he kind of lost the team, but the offense looked much better. Was, we were at least scoring in games. Or, no, what well, kind of. We weren't getting blown out, though. We were just losing leads. That's all we were doing kind of. But We'd be up 21 fucking nothing in the next And then we'll lose, yeah. But at least we would be up. But most of these games, we haven't been up at all. Or we'll score one touchdown and we completely That's fall apart. It would be, what was it, the Broncos 10-0 first quarter, first half? You know what I mean? A lot of these games, we were up. But yeah, even with, was it the Steelers, we were up, right? Yeah, just for a bit. Yeah. When I we mean, scored we the always, first touchdown. We always get that first, second touchdown. and That's what I said. We get the first touchdown, and after that, we forget how to play football. Yeah. Um. But it's just tough, man. It really is tough watching. Brock Bowers is a stud, though. But is he, though? He is. We're force-feeding him. He's the only receiver we have right now on the team. Could you imagine him with a good quarterback? I I don't know. I love love Brock Bowers, but I I could still look at the situation right now and felt like we could have went in a different direction. But maybe he's going to be great, you know, with a good quarterback. Who knows? He'll be super great. I hope so. I mean, we were saying that Michael Mayer and uh, AOC, or you were saying they were uh, Tom Brady and, <laughs> Tom Brady and Rob Gronkowski <laughs> last year. Was... Hey, I, I can dream. <laughs> I can dream, motherfucker. Oh, man. But I sh- <sighs> it's, it, it's tough. And, and it's funny because what I find kind of funny with some of Raider Nation is that they will never call out AP for being bad. Because I mean, there there are some There's fans a lot that of people that are starting to comment on our shit. No, but I know that. But there are some people that still feel like, oh, it's just Lugetti's fault. Oh, it's Mark Davis's fault. Oh, yeah. it's just Gardner Minshew's fault. But they're not pointing. They're they're not looking at, yo, AP is part of the problem as well. Because AP ha- needs to fire Lugetti right had, now. Had this been Josh McDaniels and the way we're losing, oh, everybody oh, would everybody, would. everybody would. wouldn't even think about the offense coordinator or the quarterback. They would look straight at, yeah. The head coach and be going at him, so that's where I, you know, I kind of look at everything kind of fair at least, and the same way we would give AP praise is the same way I would criticize AP when we're not doing good. And right now we ain't doing good at all. One thing we know that the quarterback is a big, big problem for us. ALC goes down in this game. We quickly find out. Dumb. Yes, we quickly find out that he's gonna be out four to six weeks, and we only have Gardner Minshew. We have Carter Carter Bradley, and the big question was. Who will be the quarterback that the Raiders go out and get? Yeah. And breaking news came out last night that the Raiders signed former Falcons quarterback Desmond Ritter. Yeah, I've seen that. How do you feel about that move? Shit. That it? Yeah, I feel like shit. It's the <laughs> same scenario. What the fuck? <sighs> well, I mean. They all suck. Riddler, Riddler. Whatever, his name, whatever his name is, fuck him. He sucks. Why does he suck? He sucks. <laughs> He just sucks. He just sucks. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, the, the 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 options right now have not been like great. To be honest, no. there's not a lot of great options out there. I, I kind of talked about this before. I wanted Russell Wilson. Like, if we could trade for him, I don't he think sucks too. 
Come on, you can't say that. Was, you can't say that with the performance that he had against the Jets. Was, come on, man. Nah, he was all right. Oh, my but God. But you, you would expect that being Tom what do you mean? being his coach. What do you mean you expect that? Everybody expected Russell Wilson to be bad against the no, Jets. I expected him to be pretty good because you got a real good coach behind him. But then you say he sucks. I don't he get it. He sucks. You see, what, <laughs> when, when he went to Sean Payton, he sucked because Sean Payton's not a good coach. Okay, but right now, with Russell Wilson, you don't think that he'd be better off with uh, – he'd be better than the options we have right now? No, because he would come over here and and AP wouldn't know how to really handle him. For real? I, I'm oh, just speaking on, my personal that. opinion. I feel like Russ would be way better with the Raiders right now than any of these quarterbacks that we have. It's not saying much, but he could at least run and he could at least, you know, throw a good ball. Who's pause? <laughs> but no, what him or Justin Fields? But you know, if we Justin were, Fields sucks too. Oh my. God, she's, everybody sucks. We can't say NFL. everybody sucks when we got the worst quarterbacks in the NFL. Oh, everybody sucks with them. Oh, my gosh. You know one quarterback that I want, Oos? Who? Trey Lance, Oos. He sucks, too. Bro, you said AOC was good last year. Was, <laughs> you can't say that. Trey Lance that is That was bad. my biased self talking over there because he's a Raider. Okay. Non-biased, Oos. Non-biased. I feel like for the price we could get Trey Lance right now, it wouldn't cost much, and he's a young quarterback with a lot of upside, more upside than what we have right now. If we lose, we lose. I mean, yeah, anything's better than what we have right now, but I'm not going to bank on Trey Lance to be. Oh, no, but he's, the... he's going to come over here and lose games with us too. But it wouldn't cost much. We could probably get him for a fifth round pick and something else. I'd rather save that fifth round pick for next year. For what? We can't even draft either. Who's... We're going to have the first or second or third overall pick next year. Okay, and then we're going to address. A quarterback. quarterback. If we need a we quarterback. We need to go quarterback, offensive line, offensive line. Oh, my gosh. Offensive line, <laughs> offensive line. But who knows? Who knows, Us? We signed Desmond Ritter. Maybe. Just maybe, Us. No, my non bias He could be the second coming. No, my non bias says he sucks ass. Oh, my gosh. I will give him the benefit of the doubt. I'm not giving him shit. I don't have a lot of hope in this team, but I will say – Desmond Ritter is a better option than AOC. Who's he is, and even Gardner Minshew. It's like this. It is. It's not. I'm it's not like this. They're still touching. They're on the same level. <sighs> there was one player that could have saved the Raiders. Who on Sunday? Who's and he was on the Rams sideline. Jimmy G. Who's <laughs> oh, fuck, <out> of here. <laughs> fuck him too. He sucks more than all of be, them. Be honest, who's no. be honest I'll with be me. Honest. Non by yourself. Be Jimmy G. Who's. is Trash, bro. Be honest, but he's a better he's better trash than what we have right now. I don't give a fuck. I'd rather take my chances with AOC. What? At least AOC can throw downfield. There's a reason why they call him handoff Jimmy. Yeah, but at least the handoffs would be good, Us. That's all he's fucking doing. What is AOC doing? He got a little he got a little owie on his thumb and now he's out owie for six though. weeks. He broke his thumb. That's not a little owie. Bro, just fucking put that shit back together. It's his throwing hand. You gotta grip the ball like this. Bro, Derek Carr broke his finger and still went out there and did his thing. His finger. He has three other ones to hold. Yeah, fucking. Like, yeah. <laughs> like that was broke. You gotta go like this. I don't know, man. But I, 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 not saying that Desmond Ritter is gonna be the end all, be all, the savior for the Raiders because I doubt that there's any saving this season. But he might. Who knows? Maybe. Maybe he might be the reason why we don't get the first overall pick. <laughs> who knows? I, I don't know. But. It's going to be kind of tough. Who's like, well, who has a worse record than us? The Panthers. They're the only ones. Who else? And they're the ones that beat us. <laughs> they they smacked us. Who's, and they look like a worse off team. And the fact that we lost to that team, who's, oh, what does that, that put us at? So I want to take a moment right now and give a huge shout out to one of the sponsors of this episode, Bula Pies Fiji. They've got some of the best meat pies in the world. And my Oost Fitz can attest to that. Yep, I ate it for like three months straight. Discover the taste of Fiji in every single bite. And I'm not talking about the artist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sh They've also got an app now that you can download in the App Store, Bula Pies Fiji. If you guys are looking for that meat, go and download the app today and let them know that the Uso sent you guys. Also, if you guys are on social media, don't forget to follow them at bula.pies.fiji. I know Halloween is around the corner, Uso. And... I'm not really into horror movies or scary movies, to be honest oh. with you. It's too scary, but nothing has been scarier than this Raiders season this year. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's been it's been horrible. It's, it's hard to watch. <laughs> I'm kind of like, going, <laughs> is anything? <laughs> I, I, I've said this before. It was being a Raiders fan tonight for everybody. So we still come over here and talk about this team like they're gonna do something, but yet 
It's the same thing. It was, what 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 we said? 12, 12 win season this year. You said, you said twelve. I said twelve. You said ten or eleven. I it said was, ten. We could still get it ten though. And seven. And it starts this week. Yeah, right. Everything starts this week. Was, if you think <laughs> we're gonna win, fucking ten and seven, you're smoking crack. But, and do, but do you think that we'll win this week? We got the Chiefs coming to town, Oos. If I had to bet money on this week's game, bet money, I'm betting money on the Chiefs winning. I bet you the Raiders will win. I bet you not. I bet you they will. What do you want to bet? Something. All right. Uh, I don't know, but we'll, they'll be disclosed. Everyone's going to give me shit for this, but come on now. It's not Christmas. Hey, Oos. But these are the games. We've been talking a lot of shit. Oos, these are the games that we win, the ones that we're supposed to lose, Oos. Plus, if I go to the game and go in the win club, boost, we win it, Oos. I should have been there to steal this game. That shit was horrible, Oos. Yeah, that was. I, I was mad at halftime, Oos. Like, I was. That was, was the first time. Bad. That's the closest, like, other than uh, that Chargers game that we had years ago, the home opener, or the opener over there. Oh. Yeah. It was, not, not with you guys. No, not, no. not not with it was you. The year before. The year before, when we played over there, I think it was 2021. That was the closest I got, like, to, like, putting some paws on some people. <laughs> But this, this game, was, I was just like, I can't believe this team is putting me through this again. It was, I, I don't know why they do this to us. But I feel like this week, Goose, I trust trust me. I know Raider Nation going to think I'm being crazy. But we're going to win this week. We could continue to lose to all the sorry teams after this. But I feel like against the Chiefs, who's we're going gonna to be – we're going to do some. Moves. We might we might come out with that W. Who knows? We're going to fuck up our chances at getting the number one. We can still lose pick. the rest of the season. But I'm saying we got to beat the Chiefs, especially after the Kermit the Frog situation news. I know they're kind of ready. And then Patrick Mahomes has been fucking me over in fantasy. So I hope that his ass. You picked Patrick Mahomes? Yes. Yeah, so I stayed away from him. Now now I'm now I'm riding with Sam Darnold and shit. <laughs> I could I could have went with no quarterbacks in the draft and got Sam Darnold. Now he's doing way better for me. Was, but. Oops. I have. I just have this gut feeling. This when we come back next week, I'm gonna be like, I told you so. No, I'm, I'm telling you, we gonna we gonna beat the Chiefs. I don't care about one or by twenty one. It's gonna happen. Us. I hope so, but I doubt it. I can't wait. Us. I, I think. I think if I'm not mistaken, I think my buddy Sal told me that the Chiefs are expected to beat us by eleven or more points. Oh my gosh, Sal, Sal's a Patriots fan. Us. Yeah, I know, but he's a betting guy. 11 points? That's a big spread over there. I, well, trust me. We're going to win. That's that's all that matters. Is. Now, one person that's losing just like us is Devontae Adams. Is. That's what his ass gets. <laughs> you know, last last time we talked, you know, there was a lot of speculations, a lot of trade rumors going around. But we found out not too long after that that Devontae Adams is going to New York Jets to play with his daddy, Aaron Rodgers. Is. Yeah, they're over there doing the scissors and shit. <laughs> they're roommates now. Is, you know what? You're lying. Yeah, he's been staying with Aaron Rodgers since he went to uh, doing scissors and shit. Whatever they may be doing, it was, <laughs> it's not working on the field. It was, it's, yeah, it's, not. it's crazy watching that game against. I the watched Steelers. it too. Yeah, I seen it. I was at work, but I remember watching that game. I was like, "Damn!" That first connection that they had and Devontae dropped, dropped it. I was it, like, "Yeah." He looks like that Raider. That yep. Raider's still in him, you know. Yep. But but you know they didn't really have that much. He only had thirty yards re- receiving. Five five receptions. They got yeah. whooped. Yeah. They got he got whooped by the Steelers twice in what seven days? That's what you said. It's crazy. It was, how do you feel about that trade about Devontae going over there? And how do you feel that impacts the Raiders? Zeus? I mean, I think we could have got more for him. You know what I mean? Um, and affecting us? I mean, yeah, man. I mean, I, I feel like our receiving core is still pretty decent. You know what I mean? Uh, DJ Turner stepped it up a lot. He's been doing his thing. You know what I mean? Uh, Jacoby Myers is solid. Um, He's been missing them on the field though these yeah, past no. two weeks. So, but other than that, I mean, it is what it is. It's the right away. Fucking get good stars. They come and something happens and they're fucking gone. I agree with you. I, I think we could have got a little bit more, but I know a lot of people were saying that we couldn't even get a second round from. But this is a conditional third round, so it could turn into a second round news if he goes to the Super Bowl and plays in the Super Bowl this year, and he becomes a first team All Pro or second team All Pro. Yeah. Basically saying that we're just going to have a third-round pick at the end of the year because I highly doubt that that's going to happen to him. But I think it was best for both parties. It's just crazy how many fans – well, I know a lot of fans are turning on him like they did Josh Jacobs, but I think there's a little bit different because he wanted out. It was like he wanted to go play somewhere else, content. Even though he was over here saying that he didn't want to go anywhere, he was capping. It was, he, he, he was thinking about going somewhere else. And 
I kind of blame the Raiders too. You can't really blame just Devontae Adams yeah. in this situation because the Raiders had a part to play in this too with Derek Carr like getting released. That wasn't the sole reason why he stayed, but the Raiders I don't think really did enough to keep him. Keep him or get a weapon that could uh, play with him. And, and then especially release. If we would have got Kirk Cousins, it would have been a whole different scenario this year. Oh, my gosh. Or if we didn't release Jimmy G. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Come on, us. Jimmy G is like fungus. It's just something you don't want. But it's something that you'll have, right? If you choose, like you're trying to choose. I don't want the fungus. Other than that, Oos, I feel like if the Raiders went out and got a competent, a competent quarterback or at least traded for one in, traded up for one in the draft, he would still be over here. But I, I feel like we just didn't address that with McDaniel's uh, regime last year and even with AP's regime this year. So it could have happened better. I feel like the Raiders should have traded him last year it, or even during the offseason, traded him away and get something more for him. But the fact that we waited so long and it just came down to this, it just kind of devalued him. So it is what it is. He goes, he he's in a, I mean, he's getting put in the same category as A B, Randy Moss now, you know. And would you would you think that's fair for Devontae? No, I don't think it's fair for Devontae. Why not? Because I mean he's a diehard Raider fan, like you said. I mean, he might not act like it, you know what I mean? Because at that point you're on the business side of things. Yeah, I mean, he's still got a family and all that. Um, he is one hell of a player. Yeah. You know, and he has no quarterback to throw to him. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, he's just looking out. I mean, it, it, sometimes you got to look out for yourself. Speaking on that, or since we're on that subject, another player that has been talked about in trades is for the Raiders to move forward and at least Don't move forward with that, 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 that rebuild. Is. What do you think about trading Max Crosby away? Fuck out of here. A lot of people saying maybe to the Detroit Lions is yeah, but we all know it's full of shit. Okay, so but what that, that's what I want to ask you. There's a lot of people talking about it. Not saying that it's true. Not saying that Max wants to go anywhere. But what do you think about the idea of trading Max Crosby away? Hell no. Hell no. That's like if we do that. That's the same shit we did with fucking Khalil Mack. Fuck no. He's a Raider. We know he's a Raider. He's very outspoken about that. He's one hell of a player. Our defense is solid. I, I believe our defense is, is one or two pieces away from being number one in the league. What pieces are those? I feel I feel our safety core is pretty good. D line. I don't know. I think Jack Jones is fucking a little fucking up a little bit this season. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But the defense is good. I love the defense. You know, if I if we had a quarterback in the O line, it'd be a whole different story right now. That's true. I I agree with you on that. And we definitely got to have a new offense coordinator. Well, that too. Like, if, if AP wants to stay here, I've said this before and I'm going to say it again, if he's going to be the, the, the head coach moving forward, because I doubt, I highly doubt that Mark Davis fires him after the season, no matter how bad we do. I wonder I wonder if Brady he's not gonna. fire him. Maybe. He's part owner. Yeah. And Mark Davis did say Brady's here to make a lot of decisions. Yeah. But but I'm saying, like, I, I highly doubt they make that move. But if AP wants to stay on and turn things around and at least keep his job for the, the future, the immediate future, was, the two big moves I, I, I feel like he needs to make is, one, surrounding himself with the coaching staff that can help him because he's not going to be the guy to, to call the X and O's. X's and O's. He needs to bring in an offense coordinator that can come in, call the plays, and he doesn't have to worry about that. He could just worry about the defense, and he could worry about being motivational to, to all the players and, you know, smoking cigars and having a good time, whatever. Two is going out and finding his quarterback, doing whatever it takes. If we're, like, number 10, if we're number one, number five, it don't matter. He has to get a quarterback, a young quarterback or even a veteran quarterback. He got to go all in on the quarterback and, like you said, address the offensive line because – the offensive line has not been good. Was, like they, they've shown spurts here and there. We have some key players in there, some young players. I, I like DJ Glaze. I, I like JPJ. Cohen Miller's getting up there in age, and he's starting to show himself. He's not looking like the same guy he once was. And then Andre James, if he was. Like, so the offensive line definitely needs some revamping. And I feel like with those moves and keeping the players that we have on the defense, maybe building on it, I think we'll be okay moving forward. Yeah. So – I know we talked about Tom Brady. He's a part owner of the team. I love the moves. 
I do too. We, we got a guy that come in, and, and I feel like he's going to be the guy. He's going to be Mark Davis's right hand man now to help make those decisions. Because just like APUs, Mark Davis doesn't know shit about football, about making any decisions. I mean, he makes all the big decisions, but as far as going out, getting quarterbacks, scouting different players, I don't think he knows any of that. No. But you bring in a mind like Tom Brady, the GOAT, the greatest quarterback of all time in my book, to help you make those decisions, I feel like it'll help us moving forward. And maybe it's going out getting Shadour Sanders. Was, I mean, he's a guy that Tom Brady's uh, worked with a lot. So, I mean, a lot of Raider fans want him. A lot of fans don't want him. But another thing that I've seen if stuff don't work out with AP this year is if they do move on from him, what do you think about possibly hiring Bill Belichick? I've seen that too, and I wouldn't mind that either. Okay, with all that being said, Us, I wanted to ask a question. It might be kind of dumb, Us, but do you feel like the Raiders still have a chance at the playoffs? Fuck no. <laughs> Why not? No. Come on, Deuce. explain do, to me. You gotta you gotta explain it to me. Deuce. Do I believe that the Raiders still have a chance to the playoffs? I believe I have a better chance of hitting a jackpot than them making the playoffs, bro. <laughs> I have a better chance at surviving jumping out of a plane with no parachute than them making the playoffs. <laughs> Well, you first got to jump. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, bro. It's, why ask me that? I, I just wanted to. I'm just being blunt. Like, uh, uh, if you think the Raiders are going to make the playoffs, you are smoking. What's wrong with that, though? That means you're delusional. <laughs> you're seeing shadow people and shit hoping the Raiders are going to make the playoffs. Oh, I know, man. I... We still got a couple hard teams to play. We got to beat the Chiefs twice. We got to we, oh, shit. I think the tables are turning. <laughs> <laughs> They're turning it They're all turning. the way back around. <laughs> shit. I think, I think. hey, Desmond Ritter might be the guy no. for us, Zeus. Nope. He's going to turn the season around, Zeus. And, and if he does, then my bad. But If I he doubt. does, you got to run on the field naked, Zeus, or something no, like I, that. <laughs> I'm not catching no sex crime for this team. <laughs> I'm just joking. Uh, but, um, okay, what's your prediction for this weekend's game against the Chiefs? Truth, Raiders, yeah, truth. Raider fan or bye. Like, no, be a, a real Raider fan. Um, I'm gonna go with nine Raiders and probably like twenty seven. Nine mm-hmm. to twenty seven. Chiefs win. Okay. I have seventeen. Twenty eight Raiders. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it was weird. something's gonna happen it was this week. I don't know what it is, but some, something's not gonna a happen holiday. Us. He's angry at us. Yeah, he's. I don't know, man. I hope I'm wrong though. I feel like the games that people don't expect us to win, like I said before, we're gonna win. It was, and you know what's crazy? You wanna hear a magic trick? Us? When I set my fingers, you'll forget your ever gaze. <laughs> So now you're not getting the worst. <laughs> you know what's funny is I say this, but I forgot how to respond to this. So I'm not saying shit. You're not gay no more, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not responding. <laughs> He's a free man. <laughs> It's funny, I've said this shit on my old videos, and I forgot how to respond to it. So I'm not responding, because you can't get me if I'm not responding. Well, there you have it, guys. He's not gaining. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. I didn't say nothing. Okay, I got I got one more joke, and we'll head out of here, because I, I, I heard it on the way here. Not, not a gay joke. All right. But I will use that for real, though. So there was this, there's this kid... In the middle of the street, jumping on this box. And he's like, 16, 16, 16, 16. You, you heard this before? No. So a guy walks by, and he's just like, why is he saying, why, why is he saying that? It's kind of weird. He goes up, asks him, why, why are you saying that? He's like, it's fun. 16, 16, 16, 16. He's like, it doesn't seem fun. And he's like, well, you should try it. And he's like, okay, what the hell? He goes on there, and he says, 16, 16, 16. And then he pulls the, the box away revealing there was a hole and he falls in and the kid goes up 17 17 <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> oh damn, that was a good one. Right. I thought I'd just leave it off on that. I, I heard it. I was like, I'm gonna, just, I'm, gonna just, I'm gonna say that joke. I like that one. All right. Well, but with that said, until next week or until we beat the the Chiefs this week yeah. and we come back next week, all happy Yeah, hopefully. Boy, some more Raider and Mr. Fitz. Y'all know what it is, Raiders, bitch. And we are. Thanks. Wow.